Today we will talk about breaking sticks, but before doing that, it's important to know why you use a breaking stick. So here you see my male, when he should release but he does not release, you insert here the breaking stick from the side and then you twist it to open the, the brake. So open the, how do you say it, the mouth, the jaw, so he can release his, his grip. And why is that important? Because if you have a dog that doesn't want to release his grip, but you need to make him release his grip, it's nice that you have a tool to do so. And there comes the breaking stick. So my first breaking stick was a little bit like this one, but from wood. I got it from a friend, who also got it from a friend. And that's a good way to start. After a while I thought it would be better to go for um, a breaking stick that's made of a certain type of plastic. So this plastic is hard enough to be used as a prying tool, but also soft enough that it doesn't uh, uh, compromise the, the, the teeth, so it can, does not damage them. So in general you see that breaking sticks have a little bit of slope, and then uh, they're also oftentimes a lot wider than they are uh, high, as you can see here. So this one I got from uh, the States, specifically for American Pitbull Terriers, Bulldogs and the likes, and it's very capable. As you can see also when you put your hand on it, you still have decent room to also do stay away from steer away from danger so you have room between the jaws and your hand also an important thing to note is that here you see a ruler this is in uh, centimeters to give you a little bit of overview of um, size to keep into consideration that uh, especially bully type breeds that are very people friendly are good to be managed with a breaking stick malinois and other shepherd breeds are also uh, the, the breaking stick has been introduced and to great success, but it's a bigger, dif bigger danger. And why is that? Because they are uh, less uh, less stable to say. They they will uh, bite multiple times, whereas normally an uh, American pit bull terrier, for example, will bite and hold on. And if you look at the breaking stick, how it uh, functions. The straight. So if this is the jaw of the dog, and normally it has of course the, the canines on the on the end, but just focus on the jaw where I said you could insert it. So you don't insert it like this, you insert it like this. And the best way is that you can breach both sides of the jaw as so that you don't pressure only one side, but in an emergency you can also use one side. It's pores for the dog, of course. But be aware that you can also pry with one side. You will put more stress on one side of the jaw, which is not as good as uh, to divide it more equally on both sides, of course. But sometimes you might not be able or have some trouble to get it uh, in the right direction. Especially if it's very intense and you cannot uh, control your emotions or the emotion of your environment. But back to the breaking stick, so it goes in like that. And because it's so thin, it will easily slide in there. And then it will be used like a demolition type of pry bar and open it up. So you put it in as far as possible, not step the top of the jaw because you can damage it here. So slide it in gently and then twist it and what happens you can see it here the jaw has to open up when once you twist it so that gives you a little bit of more of insight um, back to the breaking sticks so these two and you see also the size are quite a big approximately 30 centimeters or even a little bit over this is a specific so this has been made by the enthusiast from good plexiglass type, then put into shape. Also got quite sturdy. This has a little bit more of an acute point, and that's a good thing in some um, 
some consideration we'll come back to that later you can also see you can put some uh, laces on it to put it around your neck or somewhere else this is a good thing that you can easily carry it this is, has some things that you can adjust it to your back or to your wrist so you don't uh, release the grip this also has a very nice handle very soft but this is more of a luxury version so to say but the benefit of this more pointier edge is that when you have smaller breeds like Petrodel Terriers, which are significantly smaller than American Pitbull Terriers, let alone Bulldogs, American Bulldogs, that you can still have an easy access because it is not that, um, yeah, it's more acute, so it's not that broad. The benefit of a more broader type is that it is harder to bite through, especially by a more powerful breed. So keep that into consideration. Back to the topic of um, small, you also want any tool that you have, they say this like with pocket knives, what is the best pocket knife? The one you have on you. So if you have a big tool like this, it's quite hard to always take with you. It can be done, but it's quite cumbersome. Are you happy to see me or is it your brake stick, etc. But if you have a smaller breed like a petrodel terrier, and I use this brief opener and I cut away the, the edges, so this is a wooden brief opener, and I think this could be a good prying tool for petrodel terriers. I think it might be even better if I would cut it back through this, and then you have an even smaller one, but then you have also quite some room <laughs> that you lose on your hand, because for the handle this will be a good grip, that you have a little bit overhang. I also drilled a little hole so I can put a cable to it, but this is easy to be uh, put in your jacket in one of the front pockets like that it slips right in and of course you can also carry it the other way around that would be easier for grabbing but then um, it will step this fabric also my jacket i have it pointed outwards so in the inner jacket so also if you bend over it doesn't stab you it's not a stabbing tool of course but it is not completely uh, in an emergency with a lot of stress put upon it of course also penetrate you a little bit or cause harm to your ribs for example which you do not like um this tool i think could be sufficient i will try it out once i have to of course you will not always have to normally most of the time you will not use the tool but it's good to have especially when something goes wrong and two dogs are fighting and you have trouble to release them from each other then uh, of course it's easy that you can release at least your own dog and also for legal uh, reasons but you can also make one yourself so this was made of plexiglass by someone else <coughs> and i found a smaller piece of plexiglass here which i thought could be used also uh, as a tool but it's a little bit less uh, optimal as you can see it's a lot thicker yeah like three times or more the thickness I think three times but it's also a little bit narrow and the narrower part i like because there's less room in the pattern between the the different uh, uh, molars so that's a good thing but also the slope is a lot uh, higher so the starting point is quite uh, comparable as you can see here but i think this could be a good tool i will also put it to the test and perhaps uh, narrow it down a little bit more and more until it fits what I want. Also the drawback as compared to this design is that this fits the hand nicer. This is also a nice uh, fit because it is more of a handle and eh? more of a room handle. But the edges are of course uh, more acute. But I also uh, yeah, file those down so that it feels nicer to grip. It's a nice material to work with because it is uh, soft enough and also when you do the work <laughs> you just see the, the, the discoloration happening in the in the process and so you see that it's working so what would i recommend this is the type i would recommend for most owners but only if you have a very strong biting dog this could be a better one i don't know if they still make them but you can make them yourself as i did with this one i also put a little bit of a um, grip insert here that is easier to pull back if needed so that it's not as slippery especially starting the purchase and the benefit of these as compared to the others that you have more room between yourself and 
the jaw and particularly if you also have to put another dog off and therefore i thought this could be still be a good design but if you don't have access for it this will not be sufficient for a strong dog it will completely rip it i think the petadils will even rip it and once they do i will file it down to a smaller version that's even more pocket friendly as you can see i also took down the edges on this side so that it is as the least intrusive as possible but i can imagine once it breaks i will i will stop it like this at this point and just use that part as a breaking stick and then fiddle my hand so that i get at least two finger grip and that could be sufficient to work at least one part of the jaw of the petal area another thing you could use wedges but i recommend using plastic wedges not aluminium because of course are far too hard and uh, plastic can be very lightweight as you can see here with this drilled holes but the benefit is that they don't splinter like the wooden ones do so if you take this and then file off the edges that like that that you have a less uh, intrusive design i also filed them off at this one it's harder to see but if you look closely i, I don't make acute uh, points so that once you an accident hit the, the the upper side of the jaw that you don't go through it and don't damage it but this could be an easy budget uh, friendly option for your ease of carry of course i would recommend to rim to uh, file the signs down as i did with, with this one and to make it less acute and also the points but this could be a good option and also it has holes already so you don't have to drill them you can put uh, a little bit of lace to it and you have a very good uh breaking stick that you can easily make yourself and it's not costly so hope this helps hope this helps to to give you a little bit more insight and also in an emergency situation you might be very thankful that you watch this video have a great day i'm out